Hi, I'm Beckett from Courtside Sports, and today we're going to be putting on an overgrip. Here we have Head Extreme Soft Overgrips. They're some of our most popular overgrips because they're soft, absorbent, and tacky. So your overgrip will come with a grip and a piece of tape. We'll save this finishing tape for later. All right, so most overgrips will come with a plastic film that needs to be peeled off before you apply the grip. So there's two sides. There's a squared off end, and then there is the tapered end. We're gonna start with the tapered end. Now, if you are wrapping this right-handed, you would want the side with the cut to be on facing the bottom of the handle. If you were going left-handed, it would face the top. Today we'll wrap this right-handed. So our first step is to remove this little sticky tab and then we'll find a flat place on one of the larger bevels to start the grip. So you want to angle the grip tape out towards the racket so the tail is tucked inside. All right, so it's attached and I'm wrapping firmly about three millimeters from the top ridge of the butt cap. So I'm just going all the way around the butt cap until the corner of the taper ends. And I just gently follow the grip down. At this point, the grip is starts being angled because of the flare of the butt cap. So you'll want to apply some pressure pulling the grip tape. And then once you get over the butt cap, you'll get to a pretty flat zone and it gets quite easy. So the guideline is about 1 8 of an inch overlap. You can go a little bit thicker overlap if you like a little bit more cushion or a little bit thinner overlap if you like a thinner feel. All right, so when you get to the top of the grip, you have a lot of excess grip. And now there are a couple options. If you're on court and you don't have access to scissors, what you can do is just fold it across like that, wrap it around, and tape it up. Not the prettiest, but it does in a pinch. Now if you do have a pair of scissors, you can clean up the end a little bit and cut a nice taper. If you have scissors or a pen, you can make a mark by just pushing into the grip. Then you kind of have two dots and you unwrap it and cut from one mark to the next mark. So we'll take the tape, unwrap it. There's a little sticky part exposed already. So that's what we'll use to start. And as we finish this, we want to Pull just a little bit on the tape to make sure we have a smooth application. Don't pull too hard because some of these finishing tapes are a little bit thin and they tend to tear. All right, so just when you have a little bit left, you want to stop pulling and just push it down with your thumb. The less you pull at the end as you finish, the less likely you are to have the tape start detaching from where it was stuck. So that's how we do overgrips at Courtside Sports. Stay tuned for more instructional videos and we'll see you next time.